with the largest gathering of pathologists is happening here at the Win. A pathologist makes 70% of all your medical decisions. They are the doctor that you never get to meet, but you're going to meet one coming up in a live report. Well, you might see a lot of lab coats and microscopes over the next couple of days. And no, we're not bringing out the operation game. <laughs> the largest gathering of pathologists are descending upon Las Vegas. But what exactly is a pathologist? Well, Fox 5's Peter Dawson, a.k.a. Dr. Dawson, grabbed his mm. insurance card and he's live over at the Wynn with a diagnosis. Hello, Dr. Dawson. Well, hello. Good morning. Um, you know you're at a medical conference when this thick book, check this out, Luis, this thick book is known as the short presentation. So that's kind of what they're doing here. They are going over everything. Luis, pan over. They're getting set up. They're going to be talking about everything, innovations, diseases. Actually, I don't know what they're going to be talking about, but I, know, I do know who can tell me what they're going to be talking about. Dr. Jang, what's going on here today, and why did you come to all the way to Las Vegas? So we're here at the College of American Pathologists meeting. It's the largest pathologist meeting in the country, and we're all here for the latest in science, networking, um, and advancing the specialty of medicine. Now, we've been talking to pathologists all morning long, but you not only work in the lab, but you also see patients. What, uh, how, does that, how does that work in, in terms of being able to, I don't know, diagnose one of your patients right away? Exactly. So I am a cytopathologist, and um, I'm one of the pathologists who actually sees patients directly. I have my own clinic, and and I perform what's called a fine needle aspiration biopsy. That's um, a technique where I can use a needle smaller than they used to draw blood to get an answer um, for what's going on with the patient and avoid potential surgeries. Um, and so I get to see the impact of my diagnoses directly. I get to see the patients, and then I'm the person who gives them that diagnosis as well. And now, real quick, give one piece of advice for everybody out there, because a lot of people don't realize 70% of the medical decisions come from the pathologist, not your general doctor. You're the doctor behind the doctor doctor, what do patients need to know before they go into, you know, their general practitioner? So, um, two things. The first is, I would say, if you're a patient and you notice something that's not right, get to your doctor and get it checked out early. A lot of times I see patients who, for whatever reason, you know, you're busy, you're scared, life happens, right? And they don't come get something checked out until months later and something bad has spread. But, um, so that's the first thing, is if you have, if you notice something wrong, go to your doctor, get it checked out. If it's nothing, great. If it's not, early detection still saves life. Lives. And they look at slides all day long. I want to show a full screen. Monica, right now, you're looking at four slides. These are four diseases from A, B, C, and D. One of them is breast cancer. One of them is prostate cancer. Jason got it wrong earlier. Can you tell me which one's breast cancer or which one's prostate cancer? Wait, what was the first choice? Breast cancer or and colon Breast cancer. cancer or prostate cancer? Oh, oh, prostate cancer. Okay. Breast cancer, I'm thinking uh, yeah. maybe the one on the end. So and, say the letter. Oh, oh I'm yeah. sorry. D and then colon cancer, maybe B as in boy? <laughs> No, you're actually wrong. Breast cancer is A, and uh, pro prostate cancer. Actually, I got to look it up because look, I'm, I'm cheating right here. And look, she's uh, actually it's C, you know it's what? C. Hold on, hold it's on. C. I messed all of this up. What were they in order? <laughs> so it was. Uh, breast, colon, prostate, and skin cancer. <laughs> See, that's the answer that you want. Like, so, you know, I'm going to send her all of my results from now on, all of my lab work. <laughs> that's, the, that's the correct answer. So, my phone's photos just went haywire, so I can't <laughs> even get it wrong myself. But, guys, uh, the word of advice out here is to, you're allowed to call your pathologist with the test results come in, get diagnosed early, and just be honest with everything. And those are the three tips that we've learned out here this morning. Absolutely. Guys? Good stuff, Pete. That's why I'm a news anchor, not a doctor. Thank you now, very much. Do we get any parting gifts? <laughs> no, sure. You always want the gifts. What's with the gifts? Oh, no. <laughs> All right, bye. All right, Peter, thank you. 837 right now.